from the Redneck Garage. Well, today we're going to be working on something that everybody is so excited about. In my effort to make you smarter, faster, better, more informed, I'm going to talk about car polishing. <laughs> we just painted the Jeep and I'm going to have to buff out the clear coat, which is just another form of polishing with a few more steps with sandpaper in it. So we're going to talk about what it looks like to polish your car, polish a paint job, polish whatever we're going to polish, and uh, let's go from there. The first thing you're going to need if you're doing any polishing is the 3M bucket. <laughs> Not really, but I do have one. Isn't that cool? It's got a little thing on the top where you can hold your tools in it. And it's always a good idea to put a couple drops of soap in the water that you're using to do your wet sanding because it'll give it a little bit more lubrication as you're going across your new finish or if it's an old finish. The other things that you have to have is a, like a sponge pad. This is a 3M and this is a thousand grit wet or dry sandpaper and this is a newly painted hood. Now, <clears throat> now what you're doing is you're knocking off all the nibs and stuff just to get down to like regular orange peels, what you're wanting to do. You're not wanting to do aggressive sanding on it. You're just trying to smooth out the finish. So that's what I'm going to work on in the hood is taking out all this um, basketball shaped orange peel with a thousand grit before I go any further uh, as far as the sanding goes. Okay, so I'm going to wash this off real quick and I'm going to show you the different degrees of wet sanding when you're doing a polish out or a finishing sand because uh, it's pretty interesting. Okay, where the water's beating up is where it hadn't been sanded at all. And I was concentrating on this area right here. I'll take my squeegee, just kind of squeegee it across. Okay, so here's our example. If you look closely here, you can still see it looks like a basketball and that's your uh, orange peel and then as you go over here where I've been concentrating on it here we'd be done sanding uh, with the 1500 grit and you can see just a little bit here that's why a squeegee is good you can squeegee it off and then you can kind of see the stippling or the basketball effect and I still need a little bit more sanding here here and just work all the way across the hood so that's what we're going to be doing is getting that ready. I've got a new puffer coming in tomorrow. Um, you want to be careful anytime you polish on the edges and I'm going to go through that too. And then when you get down to the edge it looks really super shiny but in actuality it's just like this. It's not an even surface. Now the next step up from hand sanding is my DynaBraid 332 DA sander and it's got a hook and loop 1500 3M Trizact sanding pad. I'm going to try using it. I'm going to use it on there and see how it comes out. One of the things when you're buffing it's funny is that you it looks smooth and you think it's smooth and then you actually let it dry and then you can see where it's not. <laughs> if you look, see if I can get a good angle of this, you can see that there's still some spots that we need to sand here and up in here you can still see a little bit of thing. If you look right here, you can see that right in this portion, that's perfect. There's no stippling, there's nothing, and it looks good, but right up in here you can tell. So we're going to do a lot more fine sanding and basically polishing it out. So that's what we're going to be working on. Okay, so now comes the time that we're going to talk about tools and equipment, which is really my favorite part of any job, right? Uh, once you get it sanded down and get it smooth, then you're ready to start polishing. The first thing you're going to have to do is pick a really good polish. Um, 3M makes some good polishes and I've used them in the past, a million different kind of 3Ms. But Velvet Hammer, my buddy uh, on YouTube, turned me on to Mazerna. And let me tell you, this stuff is the best polish I've ever used. I mean, it buffs out. I could probably just use one stage and be finished because it comes out that nice. But if you go to our Redneck product page, uh, I've got these listed. They sell these in quarts and they sell them in pints and, you know, uh, depending on what size you need, how much stuff you're going to polish. These are about 50 bucks a quart or the pints are, I think, uh, about half of that, you know. This is an FG400, which I found to be really, really good as far as, like, doing that first cut. Uh, 
and it smoothed that really nice. I mean, I probably didn't need to do anything else. And then I finished up with the SF4000, which is just your um, super polish that goes over the top. And I don't know if I really needed that. It actually did bring out the gloss just beautifully. So Mazerna for me is the one that I use because I think it comes out really the best uh, over even some of the 3M stuff I've used in the past. So personal preference, but that's mine. Next thing you're going to need is a polisher. Um, and a full-size polisher, you can go down to Harbor Freight and get a just a regular polisher, something like this, for I think just the regular one is like thirty to about forty bucks, right? It's very lightweight. This is an electronic one. I do not like this polisher. It does work. You can get the job done with this, but it's not my favorite. It's it's kind of light, and uh, I don't know how long it'll last because I've been in the middle of jobs, and you know how Harbor Freight is. Okay. So what I found after doing a lot of research about body shops and what they use and things like that, I'm not a DeWalt fan. I hate DeWalt. I uh, think they're crap. So Makita makes probably one of the best auto body buffers out there. Um, these are about 200 and something bucks. If you go to the product page, like I said, it's on there. And it comes with a kit and it comes with polishers and everything else. And this thing has got some weight to it, which is kind of what you want so it doesn't hop and skip around. It's got a rubberized handle so it doesn't mar or bunt jump. And this is probably one of the best polishers you can get is the Makita. I like it. Now if I worked in a body shop every single day, you know what, I could probably take this Makita buffer and just buff out the whole car without even missing a beat. But I'm just not that good. I don't buff as much as a guy working in a body shop. So I need a little crutch, a little help. Uh, I have issues around edges. It's all about the angle of the buffer and the speed and everything else. So what I do is I cheat a little bit. I like to have a small um, either a pneumatic. This is an Ingersoll Rand and it works great. They sell them at Harbor Freight too. They're cheap. Um, to get in the corners and on the edges because I feel like I have a lot more control over this. The pneumatic ones do fairly well if you've got a compressor that will keep up. Or I like a Milwaukee little cordless one here. It comes with a couple different uh, ends and I usually get the edges with these rather than taking the big buffer and I don't have a problem with it burning through. And lastly what you're going to need is some polishing bonnets. Now I like the Velcro kind that don't bolt on so you can take them off, you can wash them in the washer and put them back on. That works great. You're going to use a wool, lamb's wool pad to do your initial buffing. Then you're going to move to foam pads. And the foam pads are a lot smoother and there's different colors and you can research all that junk. Uh, TCP Global sells some different ones and that will be on the product page too. And we're going to have some examples of buffing this hood and how it comes out. But once you get all these products you can get a superior finish. Just like the grill that came out that I use the small one because I'm cheating, uh, it came out beautiful. So let's get going on getting the hood buffed. Alright, I got my Mazerna FG400 uh, and wear you, a, uh, wear you some kind of apron because this stuff's kind of like a bad porno movie once you start spinning it up. Explain. I'm not explaining nothing. <laughs> Okay, so that's all there is to buffing. First you uh, wet sand it down, you buff it out, then you decide to repaint it, repaint it, wet sand it out. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a little bit better concept, idea of the things that you need to uh, do your own buffing. This turned out beautiful. I'm going to take a quick shot right now and let's take a look. So she's still wet, but I mean, let me tell you, that is a gloss. It looks gorgeous. Now, when I buffed it, I didn't actually buff this edge piece because I didn't want to have to redo it. If it's good and shiny and there's no orange peel in it, leave it alone. Just buff down to it. That's a tip. And the only spots that I've got that are really going to need repair 
is going to be, I've got one little spot right here at the very edge, I think. No, actually I don't. I've just got one right here. Right here on that very edge, it burned a little paint right there. And I'll touch that up with a little uh, Q-tip and stuff. But overall, this hood looks excellent. Looks beautiful. You can see that gloss coming out. It looks gorgeous. I'm super happy with it. Uh, it put the hardware back on. It's ready to go on the truck. Maybe uh, once it's on there, maybe need a little bit of hand buffing or whatever for a couple spots, but I don't see them. Uh, the question that I get the most is, I've got an old car, can I buff it? The problem that you run into with that is how thick is the clear coat on it? Has it been wet sanded down and buffed before? Is it in really bad shape? Because sometimes when you buff a car that the clear coat's in bad shape, it'll just take the clear coat off and then you're just going to have to repaint. So, yes and no. Anyway, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, post them below. I'm happy with it. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.